We're going to start Pen Point right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at www.audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint. Okay, I promised you that I was going to tell you an episode that I was happy to... Uh, to uh, to say uh, to, to say fuck you, and I'm trying to remember this story uh, exactly. Um, uh, they have at uh, Disney World Epcot, which I love, and I love to take the children to Disney World Epcot, and they've treated me wonderful there, and they're they're great, and I'm a big fan of all the Disney stuff, which is why I've done this story about saying fuck you to one of their employees might seem a little bit uh, odd, but I love Disney stuff. I think they're terrific and um, their parent company ABC you know Dancing with the Stars did wonders for me even though I sucked um, so my wife and I are at uh, uh, Disney uh, no my wife's at Disney World I didn't go uh, and she's at Epcot and at Epcot they let you buy these little square tiles it's just little pieces of cement or something at the front of Epcot and you can fill out what you want to have it written in your name and the date and they put it there and it costs you a few bucks. I don't even know what it costs you, right? And um, so my wife goes and she wants to put uh, Pan and Easy, or Easy and Pan, I don't know which, those are initials, uh, Emily, Zoltan, Gillette, Easy, and uh, Pan. And uh, she's then gonna put under it, No God. Okay, No God, N-O space G-O-D, No God, simple. Nice atheist sentiment at um, sentiment, not sentiment, at um, at Epcot. So she goes and she gives the guy the uh, the, uh, the the piece of paper that she's filled out that says no God. And the guy at Epcot. Now I don't know if this is Epcot policy or if this is just a guy. It doesn't make much difference for the story. And he says, no, we can't have this. Uh, we can't have religious messages. And Emily points out, because she's the kind of person that points us out, that they have a lot of stuff that says God bless you and praise God all over Epcot, right? And uh, and he said, well, this is different. We don't want anything offensive. You can't do this. She goes, it's not offensive. It's a celebration of truth. She has an argument because Emily will uh, interact and engage with anyone, right? Da -da 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 -da. So then she says, well, then uh, I'll fill in this and I will do a uh, 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 dog on, which is no God backwards. Dog on. We'll do dog on. And the guy accepts it as dog on um, with somebody else. I think I'm telling the story right. And then uh, uh, he takes it and she leaves. She's going to have easy and pen uh, dog on. And uh, then they call her. She's back in Vegas and they call her a week later or so and tell her they're sending her her money back or canceling the charge uh, because they won't do doggone because it means no God and they won't allow that. It's the same guy. So Emily's on the phone for a while and she tries diplomatic stuff and um, she says, uh, uh, she says, um, she gets on the phone and she gives up. So she hands me the phone just to have fun. Now at this point, I'm just having fun, you know? I don't, I don't care at all about getting our message of doggone uh, onto a little tile at Epcot at, uh, at Disney World. I, I don't care at all about that, right? And, uh, but I'm on the phone with a guy and I figure, ah, you know, I'll monkey around them a little bit, maybe we'll have some fun. And I'm not really trying to make his life miserable, I'm just, you know, monkeying around. So he says, uh, I said, why can't we do doggone? He said, because it's backwards for no God. And I said, but you only know that because she tried to do no God, and then she came to you right back with doggone. So you know she was trying to do that, and yet doggone wouldn't by itself be, um, be, uh, be offensive, right? Doggone is fine no matter what. Now, I don't think no God is offensive, but doggone certainly isn't. So can't we just do doggone? And he says, no, 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 because we know it means no God backwards. And... Uh, I said, well, okay, so if you know what it means, it changes it even if someone else doesn't know what it means. And he says, yes. And I go, okay, so say I tell you that happy birthday means fuck you. And he says, no, 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 
do not use that language. You go, no, I'm just trying to make a point. Say from now on in my vocabulary, happy birthday means fuck you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. He says, what? I go, happy birthday. He says, why do I go, happy birthday? Say that you know that happy birthday means to stop swearing at me. I go, I won't swear at you anymore. But you know what happy birthday means, don't you? Happy birthday. It means happy birthday and happy birthday. And he goes, hey, hey, cut it out. I go, happy birthday, happy birthday. He goes, cut it out, cut it out. And I go, see, that's my point. Doggone is not bad. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Put on doggone, happy birthday. Why not put on, and I'm on the phone. Why not put on doggone, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And he goes, I do not have to put up with you yelling at me. I'm hanging up the phone right now. And I go, whoa, 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 don't hang up. Please don't hang up. Please don't hang up. I'm sorry. Please don't hang up. And he says, okay. And I go, fuck you. And I hang up. That is a, probably the only time saying fuck you one-on-one -on -one to a person was, uh, was called for and made me laugh a lot. And now if you go to Epcot and you look, a friend of ours went, and if you go there, there is a plaque that she did at another time, a dear, dear friend of ours, that says pen and easy, doggone. So you know what I say to Epcot? I say, no, not to Epcot, I like Epcot. To that one guy at Epcot, I say, happy birthday! Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 75,000 titles to choose from to be downloaded to your iPod, MP3 player, and played back anywhere, anytime. Choose from books in every genre, science fiction, thrillers, drama, comedy, business, history, and more. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. Again, go to audiblepodcast.com slash penpoint for your free audiobook.